Hello there guys, hope you're well. I'm Asif. In this video, I'll guide you through how to use Perplexity API with Active Pieces. As of now, there is no native integration with Active Pieces and Perplexity, so we will be using a HTTP module to get this integration. In my last video, I got a comment from Tony requesting this video, so here I am. If you do want to see any other videos on any other topics, do comment and I will be happy to oblige. And if you're finding any value from this video, please do consider liking and subscribing. It will motivate me to make more videos like this. If you haven't signed up for a Perplexity account yet, please do so. You do need a Perplexity account. A free account will do. You do need a payment method registered on your account and some credits to access API. Briefly guide you through how you can do that. So once you've signed up for an account, you just go into settings. You have a tab here for API. Here, you can add a new payment method. You can buy some credits, and you can generate an API key. So once you've done this process, you're ready for the next step. In this demo, I'll be using AI table as a data source. Here, I've created a new data sheet with two columns. The first one is input. This is the input that will be sent to Perplexity and a response is what we get back from Perplexity. And this will act as a trigger for active pieces as well. Here I've created a new flow in active pieces. Let's start building the flow. So the trigger for this flow is going to be a AI table new record. Set the connection. I've got the connections set up already. And the data sheet that I've created is called as Perplexity API. So click on load data. There you go, the load successful. It has successfully fetched the input from our data sheet. The next module that we're going to be adding is the HTTP module. This module will be used to make an API call. All right, let's follow the documentation. API reference. So here the method is going to be post. So action is send HTTP, method is post, the URL, get the URL from here. And we need three headers. The header is going to be accept authorization and content type. So let's add them headers in. Using the API key, you can even test the authorization and make sure that everything's working. So that's what I've done. I've just added my API key in here to test to ensure that the key is working okay. Just expand this a little bit. So the header value for accept is application application JSON. And for authorization, it's going to be a bearer space and your API key. And then content type is going to be again application JSON. Next, we're going to change the body type to JSON and we'll just copy the body from here and make a test. All right, let's have a quick look. We're doing a send HTTP request, post, the URL, we have three headers, accept, authorization, and content type. And this is the JSON body that we're passing. So let's just do a quick test step and see if we get a success. Here we have a success. So what we're going to do now is we're going to replace the content the user content with the input that we have added in the data sheet. There you go. Put 
to a retest, you will get the input from the data sheet this time. All right, that's complete. Next, we will send the response back to the data sheet. So well, let's add a, another AI table update piece. Update record, connection, space, complexity API, and the record, we're going to get the record from the first step response we will be passing the response that we've got from perplexity over to the data sheet so here to get the response you'll have to go into choices choices zero and then we have a message in here and then a content so we do test step the data sheet should have the response back Here it is. So perplexity replied back with the approximate 100 to 400 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy. Here it is. So we have successfully sent the API request and we got the response back. I hope this video have been informative. If you have any issues or questions, please drop a comment and I will reply back. If you'd like to see any other videos, do mention in comment and I will make a video for them. Thank you very much for watching and good luck.